Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. To start off with today, we got uh, top Republican and House Representatives Kevin McCarthy talking about stimulus and taking a big old shot at Nancy Pelosi. In fact, I have a video for you right here to watch. I will be right back. You have, had, have you had a single conversation about COVID relief in any substantive manner in the last couple of days? With who? With anybody. Anybody who is empowered to make a deal. Uh, well, in the House, I serve in the House, it'd be the Speaker of the House, no. Have you talked to McConnell? Have you talked to the White I've House? I've talked to McConnell, yes, and I've talked to the White House. What's, yes. And could you give us a sense of where things are going? Well, the things are still at the same place. There's one roadblock. There's one big wall that has stopped this the entire time, and it's Speaker Pelosi. Um, I would think after the politics that she played and the election being over, that she now put the American public first. She still seems to be in the same position. In other news, the politicians have 22 days to pass the government funding bill. If they do not pass the government funding bill, basically, um, the government will close down. Some politicians are suggesting that they combine the stimulus and the government funding bill. So in order to fund the government, the politicians would have to pass the stimulus package. Chuck Schumer said the president is being very childish by fighting the election results and should be focused on helping the American by Americans are passing the stimulus package, which I agree he should be. He also said the Republicans in the Senate, it'll be hard for them to focus. It's basically hard for them to focus because they're basically afraid of President Trump and anything he may say on Twitter. Because you know how President Trump's always trying to start a Twitter war. Although Nancy Pelosi was re-elected as Speaker of the House, this will be her final term. So in other words, in the year 2022, Nancy Pelosi can no longer run for Speaker of the House. The unemployment data came out today, and our numbers are 742,000 filed for unemployment for the very first time in the light this year. And basically, this is an increase this is the first weekly increase we've had in the past month. We will cover the basically um, we will cover the um, how the um, phases of the vaccine are going to be dealt out to people. In fact, um, let's put it this way: I'll tell you all the four stages or phases that they are going to pass do the vaccinations. We have phase one, which is healthcare workers, the elderly, and those with health con health conditions they'll be vaccinated first. Phase two will be prisoners, people in detention centers, people at homeless centers, teachers and essential workers. Phase three is the children. Phase four is young adults and everybody else. So basically young adults get to wait and all those millennials out there get to wait until after everyone else gets their vaccination before they can get their own. 50% of Americans say that they are willing to take the vaccination, while well, 42% of them say they are not. They, re they refuse to get vaccinated. Whether or not you get vaccinated, I would actually like to know um, what, do you, what you actually think about the four different phases and whether you agree with them being accurate, and well, not accurate, but appropriate to what they say or not compared to who gets it done first? Because we actually know phase one vaccinations will not be healthcare workers and the elderly and, and stuff like that. Phase the phase one vaccinations will actually go to all the politicians and all the rich. Because that's usually how it goes. So it'll be basically a five phase uh, vaccination for this because it'll go rich and the politicians, then it'll go the healthcare workers, elderly, and those with compromised immune systems and so on down the line. Uh, sorry, I lost my my my, scent, my uh, place in the line. Um, currently, there are 3.6 million people infected with COVID-19. In the United States, we reported a uh, we reported 170,166 161 new cases of COVID-19, with 1,840 fatalities on Wednesday. And this is by John Hopkins University. Politicians suggest that we piggyback the stimulus package on the back of the government funding bill. But however, there are 
Other politicians say that is a bad idea because it wouldn't stop the fighting and it could actually run, make it so the government actually does have a government shutdown because they believe that the Republicans and Democrats will still fight over the stimulus package even though negotiations for the government funding bill are going very smoothly. This is also what Mr. Khan has also said as well. He says, he said that Nancy Pelosi is very, very, being very cooperative when it comes to the government funding bill. Well, of course she is, because the government funding bill also gives her a paycheck. There we go. That's why she's being, being, being very cooperative, because she cares about the money going in her pocket, but she doesn't care about the people out there that are actually suffering, starving, dying, and going homeless. I don't think these uh, politicians should actually be getting a paycheck at all this year because of all the, all the stuff that's going on now. I mean, come on, they passed one stimulus package that was back in April, and that was supposed to be, their exact words was, it was supposed to be a bridge payment, that stimulus check was supposed to be a bridge payment until the next stimulus package was passed. Well, we've had them up with the HEROES Act, the HEROES Act 2, all these different stimulus packages out there, we've had them come up with, and yet they can't pass a single one. I mean, what, what's wrong with that picture? I mean, don't our, politi don't our politicians, our leaders, as they're called, care about the people they're leading? Or, or weren't they taught to lead by example? Because if that's the case, and, they, and they're leading by example, then they're leading very terribly. Congressman uh, Hakeem Jeffries said, Americans are suffering a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic and need a once-in-a-lifetime stimulus package. Jim Cramer said that Congress has doomed small, small, and business, small and medium businesses. Sorry about that. By not passing additional COVID relief, so basically he says that the future fine dining will basically be stuff companies that have deep pockets like Olive Garden. Olive Garden will be the epitome of fine dining. Basically, is what he's saying. The lower ranking Democrats in the House of Representatives blame Nancy Pelosi for them losing seats to the Republicans. Modern, modern Democrats say that they were hurt by her far left initiatives by rejecting the $1.92 trillion offer from Republicans. So, um, I actually think that Nancy Pelosi was an idiot as well because they, she went from three, well, Let's start, let's start off with, let's give you the whole, whole figure here. Her first bid that she came out was with $3.4 trillion. Mitch McConnell said, not a chance. As time progressed on, they came up with other stimulus packages and other offers. Mitch McConnell kept offering the half a billion, the half a trillion dollar stimulus package, or the skinny bill as it's called. And Nancy Pelosi, she did make compromise. She went down from $3.4 trillion to $2.2 trillion. But also, the Republicans also made compromise as well. They went from half a trillion dollars to $1.92 trillion. And now Nancy Pelosi is going right back up to $3.4 trillion. Well, Mitch McConnell is going right back down to half a trillion dollars. So our, 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 our politicians are playing games with our lives. I mean, come on, people out there. All that money that they're, they're, they're basically sitting on and not giving to us is our money. It's our taxpayer money. And they're not giving it back to us because they don't care about us. They care about themselves, and that's it. Donald Trump is a perfect example of who cares about what. He cares about the election results and not the people. Let's see, what state was then? I think it was uh, Illinois or something like that. They want to do a complete recount of the whole state, and they said it's going to cost seven point four seven point four million dollars to do a complete recount of the whole state. So Donald Trump down said, "No, I can't afford that." So they're just going to do like a, a complete recount count of a certain county, which is going to cost three million dollars that Donald Trump has to pay. This is this is what I'm talking about. He cares more about the elections. And less about the people. The Republicans care less about the people and more about themselves. So far, the Democrats have also proven the same thing. They care less about the people and more about themselves. Well, I say when it comes time to get them reelected, uh, we don't reelect them because they're, they've failed the American people miserably. 
I mean, I've talked about Mitch McConnell in many more episodes and what injustice his wife has done to the people. And also, I've talked to you about what Nancy Pelosi's been doing, her her COVID restrictions violations she's done, as, and, on, and the other congressmen that have also ripped off money from the Paytech Protection Plan that the pe- goes to the people. So basically, we need we need leaders that know how to lead by positive example, not by negative example. Mitch McConnell is a negative leader. Nancy Pelosi is a negative leader. Donald Trump is the worst negative leader ever. So, but these are these are my opinions. You're welcome to have your own as well. And if you if you want to actually voice your opinions, please, let, excuse me, please let me know in my comment bar, and I reply back to you as fast as I can. But until next time, this is and always will be the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November nineteenth, two thousand twenty. You all have a wonderful evening and an excellent night. And I'll speak to you later. Bye.